Aristotle, Descartes, Nietzsche, and now, Katie. Mervich, me. For centuries, the world's most brilliant philosophers have pondered the many questions of the universe. Join me as we continue this quest for knowledge. This is The Rank Room. Today's question is, what is the best invention that has yet to be invented? Today, I'm joined by Raphael Chastain. Yes, ma'am. Ali Beardsley. Hello, mommy. And John Gabris. I don't want to go to bed. John, would you like to begin? The greatest invention that is yet to be invented is the heated glove box. Nice. So the heated glove box is mainly used to get takeout food from a restaurant to your house without losing the integrity of the heat of the food. I love this. I love it. The yeah. name is a yes. little misleading, but I, I like uh, it. You thought it was to keep your gloves warm. Yeah, as the name would <laughs> So a glove yeah. heater box is what you think I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Or a box in which you keep exclusively gloves that are heated. Yeah. 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 I was so going down that road too, and I was like, I've never really been that cold, I guess, but. Okay. Oh, do they have a different more... name now? They're like It's dash... a glove box. No, it's, it, is a good, it is a glove yeah. box. It is a glove yeah. box. Yeah. Honestly, that's on them. Yeah. Truly, this is a fantastic idea. Yes. And I always have this problem because nothing tastes as good when you drive it home. Yeah. I would say you as almost California punched me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but in and out food is so bomb, but it loses yes. integrity so quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I now use a seat heater with my hoodie over ah. it to try to do it, but wow. it's still a little too makeshift. Yeah, and yes. I am so, so sick good. of eating my food alone in my car right oh, outside yes. the drive in. Right. I've started I do to do that. And the then, time. You, yeah. And you feel crazy. You yeah. gotta I mean, eat yeah. your fries on the ride home because fries don't work, no. period, but after with this, five minutes. But with a heated maybe. glove box, it just might. I'm Is actually it? surprised that you're oh. able to do that because the parking lots are always jam-packed. Not in the middle of the night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not so in the you middle of the night, baby. In the middle of the night by I, there, yourself I'm in a car? I'm playing a podcast. I'm not crazy, okay? <laughs> I do have a question. Please. Have you all heard of toaster ovens? Probably, yes. right? Yes. That's, okay. No, I it's haven't. <laughs> I, but that's just me. I've been living in a room type situation with a kidnapper for the so, last um, year. Is that kind of where you're headed, where your mind is? It's more of like a toaster oven type situation? Or is it like a microwave? That's I think it's, it's microwave esque in that you can close the glove box and push like. Pizza or burger Ooh. and fries or oh. something. Yes. Or, and if there's a single cup holder yeah. in there, close it up there and just say, like, keep this coffee warm because yeah. I'm going to want it yeah. when I hit 101 traffic. And That's imagine awesome. if it doubled. Maybe, like, in the summer, it could be a little fridge. Oh, yeah, a nice little chilled shelf for yeah. your sushi. Yeah. Cup holders should have cold and hot settings. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what it should be. You should be able to go like, oh, like your seat heater. I feel like you're an inventor. You're a natural inventor. I really love your ideas. Thank you. Ali yes. Beardsley, please impress us. A better puke toilet. It's crazy to me. I just got food poisoning last oh, week. Yeah. It was we a remember. nightmare. Guys, yeah. round of applause. Thank you. Was, <laughs> thank you. I mean, you made I it. I ate discount oysters. Oh, in Why your would car you do that? alone. There's just like 12 <laughs> shells outside the driver's side window, like cigarette butts on a stakeout. I'm listening to a podcast. <laughs> so I got food poisoning. It was a nightmare. And while pretty much living on the floor of my bathroom, I thought, how have we not invented something better than puking in a toilet? Yes. You shit there. I'm sitting there with my like cheek resting on the toilet seat. They should make a toilet that comes with like a necklace that you can just kind of put around your neck and like yeah. leave here. And just... I do like the idea of having it be something portable. I puke a lot yes. on the street. Introducing small toilet. Small uh, toilet. Uh, it comes in its own little backpack. You carry it around. No wow. one has ever, no stranger or a roommate's yes. friend has ever shit in this toilet when you weren't home and you know they use your personal bathroom. Yes. Is it a toilet with backpack straps on it or is the back the toilet <laughs> in the backpack at least? I would say the toilet is in the backpack because yeah. that's a little embarrassing to have a toilet backpack. But maybe <laughs> if you lean into it. Yeah, it's a little embarrassing to have yeah. a toilet backpack, but you know, five tiers less embarrassing to have a bag that has just a toilet <laughs> yeah, in it. <laughs> Okay, uh, ma'am, can you have to just go through security? Can I look in your bag? Oh, a tiny toilet. It's my, it's my yeah. Take her in. <laughs> Search this lunatic. And then what do you do once you puke in your little sawdust toilet? Then it's easily cleanable. There's a little tray, much like a, wow. a hamster. 
dump it. Maybe it's your kid's chore. And hamsters yeah. are traditionally, yeah. like, they're well known as one of the least disgusting things. Yeah, when I know that I'm smelling yeah. a hamster, I think, thank God. Yeah. Now I know it's <laughs> clean. Mm, it smells like hamster in here. Someone bring me some surgical tools. <laughs> Does it have different settings? Like, can you use it for, or is it just for puking? Like throwing away no, a goldfish, or like? I yeah, think I think loogies. Throat-related like discharge. Yes, throat. Yes. It would be called. <laughs> what comes after puke and spit and throat-related discharge? <laughs> I'm very curious. What else you want? Hairballs. Uh, Hair black balls. widow spiders. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Raphael, go ahead. The better elevator. Oh. So we've had elevators. I can't remember a time without so an elevator. <laughs> and there's always, they've always been the same. So my proposal <laughs> is to make them not the same, <laughs> but better. But better. <laughs> oh, okay, it. I thought you were going to go with worse there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's written here. We know all this. Yeah. What's the, your way idea? In, the, way, the way an elevator works is that it goes up. <laughs> we or don't need this. <laughs> please, elevators go up and it down. Goes up. <laughs> Or it can go down. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, right. I yes. always, I usually just take them up, so I forget that they can also go yes. back down. I just roll down yeah. off the side of the building. I usually just leap out the window. <laughs> now this is pretty good, but I, <laughs> I propose. Oh, it's pretty good. Okay. Uh, right. I propose that they also go side to side, uh -huh. not only side to side, back <laughs> and forth. <laughs> That's side to side. That's side, to side. <laughs> Depending on where Depending you're on Depending on where you <laughs> are. <laughs> so you're saying there's, your elevator goes in six directions. <laughs> My elevator goes in, I don't know, 12? I can't really do math. Is but it, it also like where does, it just kind of... It goes diagonal. Diagonal and slanted. I can I okay, say, those are two of the same things as well. <laughs> can I just say, this is not what you pitched. Sometimes when you get in, there's, you have a pet, so you get a compartment in the elevator for just the pet people. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a pet, there's a pet only section of the elevator. Yes, there's a pet only How section. How long do you want an elevator for that you need a compartment for a pet? I do remember you having one oh, good yeah, idea. Oh right, yeah, right, 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 yeah. This is what I say. You know how you get into an elevator and sometimes you hit the door close button, but it doesn't do anything? They're fake. Yeah, because they're Did you fake. know that? The door closed button on an elevator is fake. I yeah. hate that. This happened to yeah. me before, twice last week, where I hit the elevator close thing, it didn't close, and it took so long, I thought it was broke, walked out, and then it closed behind me. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So this, so this would solve that. Do you want to add one more word to that? The better elevator rider? And then you <laughs> no, like, no. learn how to do elevators more? That, it's broken. <laughs> Let Raph, me get I, off. Yeah, that's too, that's too much. That's too hard. Raph, I remember you saying a, Wait, a so bathroom. he said nine <laughs> things so far, and you're still waiting for the one that you got excited about earlier? I am. I truly am. Now, the Raph, bathroom. you said... Bathroom? I thought he, okay, Raph, I had an Raph, idea. I had an idea where you, they, you have a bathroom and an elevator, and I think that is a good idea because sometimes elevators get stuck. Sometimes elevators get stuck, so you should have a bathroom. Thank, in you. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Everyone, yes. Listen up. Here's my idea for an invention that has not been invented yet: permanent sunscreen. Oh, I love. Okay, this. guys. Here's my problem. I have a hard time in the sun. I'm practically allergic to it. So sunscreen for me is a necessity. And you have to remember every two to four hours, you're supposed to layer up. Layer really? In, yeah, two to four hours. I didn't know that. Well, you've been doing it wrong. Wow. So permanent <laughs> sunscreen. Sunscreen that you put on once stays on you forever. Is it like a tattoo? Is it like a Maybe. shirt? I did not think about that. I think it might be a tattoo. It could be like a you a, could tattoo it. A sunscreen pill is something I've heard. Like, like oh. is that a real thing? I don't know. No, I'm saying like that's oh. like I feel like what you want. Or maybe like it's a shot, like a vaccination right. of the sun. Oh yeah. yeah. This would be such. a It would great suck idea. if it had to be like white chunky like stuff that's yeah. just on you in perpetuity. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Well, yeah. At least I don't have to reapply, and everyone's like, yeah. Well, it's, Katie, it's nighttime for like twelve yeah. hours. I went to Sri Lanka for like a few weeks, and they have billboards for like sun, like sunscreen is huge there. Our obsession with like getting tan, their obsession is with never getting tan. Yeah. So it's like skin whitening stuff like wow. that. So I, I bet permanent there. sunscreen would be big. Yeah, that's a whole nother issue. <laughs> I know, yeah, 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 It is like colonial yeah. white majority thinking that is. No, yeah, they're like bleaching. Yeah. With yeah. your permanent sunscreen, you just want to remain white permanently because well, you're enjoying no, being <laughs> 
Hold up. No, no, no. This isn't a race thing, okay? This is every person it has It is this truly issue. a lack of melanin, though. That's no, like why everyone you're, needs to... You literally sorry, could sorry, just uh, like, Hold on a second. You literally Time could out. just be a minority. Time out. <laughs> everyone needs sunscreen. Everyone can get skin that's cancer. True. Yeah, so that's true. don't... Think for one second that I'm a racist. That I'm. A racist. Did Don't you call a timeout to tell us that everyone needs sunscreen? <laughs> this is you're like ruining the sleepover. Oh. Okay, time out, time out. Time back in. You can everyone, talk now. Everyone needs sunscreen. That's it's right. true. So this would be this would be great for I everybody. Don't. You absolutely do. That's a lie. <laughs> My second invention that has yet to be invented is the shitter shredder. What? I yes. already named it. It's a garbage disposal that's about nine to 12 inches down your toilet uh, pipe. So it never clogs again. So it never clogs oh again. Oh my God. You could fucking throw baby wipes, <laughs> <Yeah>. paper <laughs> towels. <laughs> you flip a switch as it goes down and it just fucking, and then it just um, pumps that out. I really like this idea because we're, we're messing up our sewer system by mm. throwing too many things down there. Baby wipes are right, really exactly. fucking Right, exactly. So this mm. would be very helpful. This would be environmentally friendly and yeah. just it really nice. It is pretty crazy that that hasn't been invented yet. Like, what it took was a guy who's clogged one too many toilets yeah. <laughs> in one too many specific situations. It took an inventor like me wow. <laughs> to say, you know what, I ruined Christmas Eve at Grandma's yeah. house. Uh -huh. I can't believe I had to stand here while the hotel maintenance guy pump, like fucking plunges my toilet I stand there with oh my head my down. God. The worst thing in the world is just like you're on vacation in Cancun and you just have your head down. And you're like, yeah, that toilet's clogged. Oh, and he's no. like, this the guy's sir? like, dude, like it's the most fucking blue collar burly dude in the world. And he's like, whoa. <laughs> and you're like, I'm sorry, I've had nothing but fucking cervezas since I've got here. So this yeah. is a cure to my anxiety about clogging yeah. toilets as much as it is. Where does the clog start? Right around the first bend. So it would have to be there. It would have to be there. It would have, it would have to be a little. There. You also wouldn't want it too close to the like. Oh, you wouldn't like boat yeah. propeller that shit like that. Yeah. Mm. I I've been really scared of uh, videos lately where there's a snake that comes up through a toilet. Oh Ugh. yeah, this I would be amazing. Cause oh, no. I just run the shitter shred shredder. Shred that snake. Anything that's in there waiting to uh, kiss my butt. You would shred. <laughs> die. You would shred. Yeah, I think that's what the snakes. Are. I think. Here she I'm comes. A, mm -hmm. Let me put my chapstick on. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be creepier than getting bit by a snake would be getting kiss? gently kissed by a snake and then it goes away. I've been I would. kissed by a snake <laughs> on my bum. Alan, would you like to go ahead? Yes. My second invention is the sexual orientation bracelets. Oh. It is a bracelet everyone has. Yes. And it changes color based on your sexual orientation that you're feeling. So I can... Oh look across the room and be like, she's cute, and there's a little bit of pink in there. She might go for it. Is, no, a, is a bolo it. tie not enough of a sexual <laughs> orientation <laughs> bracelet? One time at a New Year's party, a woman came up to me, grabbed this, and went, did someone pull you out of the closet by this? <laughs> no one will ever top that for me. No one will ever. I will never be more attracted in any moment of my life. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, this is my, this yeah. is my attempt at this. Some senator is giving a speech and then an intern yes. gets up to get coffee and you just watch a little flash of blue and you're like, gotcha, oh, bitch. Oh my <laughs> God. Blue That's means they why. would fuck Democrats? <laughs> it's, it's like a party. I uh, could see this being problematic. Because it's labeling. A lot of people don't want to be labeled. But they don't want to be labeled because it's not safe for them to be labeled yet and if everyone was labeled, it would be safe. It's a fluid Yes, thing, and it changes yes. colors. It absolutely is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Air Sexuality you, you, is You've fluid. had like yeah. four beers, everyone's just purple. Some fucking like crazy redneck who's like, I, uh, uh oh. <laughs> I guess I do really <laughs> like Tom Hardy. I'm free. Yeah. I, I think everyone free. just has it. People sure. who wouldn't buy it are the people I want the answers yes. for more. It's a forced. Everyone wakes up, we all have the bracelet, you can't get it off, go. I will suggest possibly being able to take it off when you get married because then <gasps> that yes. also eliminates. It eliminates uh, upsetting your spouse yeah. inadvertently. I think that's crazy. I think that's crazy. I think your spouse should be there for you. If you go a little gay in your twilight years, chase it. I don't want my spouse I, knowing I am attracted exa to other people. Right, exactly. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Oh, it doesn't they should glow when you're feeling attracted. Oh, okay. It's just there to say oh, your sexual identity. It. It's moving. It turns blue when I watch Sons of Anarchy. Yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, then I guess yeah. then your spouse would be like, oh. Oh, so you bummer, want to get tag teamed by Opie yeah. and Jack. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I Wants forget what. to what's, be pinned yeah. down by. Which one's oh. brown? Oh, that's just a hand job in a car. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't 
matter the gender. I just oh, need to get off, baby. brother. <laughs> Please go again. This <laughs> is smelling mirrors. What? <laughs> okay. Your ideas are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got mirrors. I don't remember a time without mirrors. <laughs> uh, how do mirrors Mirrors work? have been around arguably longer than elevators. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Basically, water's a mirror. Oh, shit. Spoon's a mirror. Spoon's a mirror. Okay, okay, okay. You know how when you look into a mirror, you can see what you look like? Yes. That we yes. all know. Yes. Okay. Yes, we know this. Now we're all on board. Imagine someone pausing this video right now and going, what is he talking about? <laughs> mirror. <laughs> mirror. Look at yourself. So this is a smelling mirror where you can smell. It's a device that helps you smell yourself like other people can smell you. Mm. You know what I mean? That's so great. Like, yes. That's great. Let's say, the like oh, yeah. <laughs> you're on board. Well, you understand why oh, when yeah. we hear the word smelling mirror, we might not think that's what you're talking about. <laughs> no, I don't you're get like, that. You're like, now you're on board? It's like, well, now we almost get it. That's why we're getting excited. So it's the, it's the, it's the thing of like, uh, <laughs> since, since the dawn of what time. You're like, ah, this is as far as Wait. I got. Is you know how we have mirrors? <laughs> is all I research. Let's take a deep breath. It really and talk is this though, through. I like this because there are a lot of times where I'm I wake up yeah. and I'm like, I don't need a shower. I do that constantly. A lot of times. I do check, that a lot. Check the smelling mirror. Yes, and <laughs> that would save me a lot of like, oh my god, what what choice have but I made? Sometimes you smell later in the day. It's oh. a portable. It's a portable mirror. You have a okay. full body smelling mirror. Yeah. You have and a hand smelling mirror. So you can <laughs> breathe on it. You can put your arm in the air. You can breathe on it. You can get your feet if, you, if, you have, if, you, if you're a person that wears cologne or perfume, oh you can God. tell if it's too much or if, it's, or if yeah. it's not to the point where you want it to be. How would you take care of it if it was too much? Uh, wipe it off. Okay. Black I don't pepper. Know. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> You add black pepper. Is Are that you being serious? On cologne? I have no idea. I no, need that, that. Can't be right. It works with salt. If you put too much too salt, much. add a yeah. little black pepper, sweetheart. Hey, look, now you got your fucking. That's true. I would like to go again. Direct to brain. Answers. Okay, guys. We spend a lot of time thinking and reading and trying to learn. What a waste of time. How much what? time do you spend <laughs> thinking, reading, and trying to learn? A lot. I, that's a good, life? I think that's good. I have a problem yeah. <laughs> where if I read one article and, it, I, and there's something I don't get, then I have to read, I have to learn everything about it. I'm obsessive The compulsive. wormhole, like, yes. on... Yes, but it in, happens yeah. so much to me that I'm like, I gotta stop learning, I gotta stop reading. So here's my thought. There is something that is implanted in all of our brains. You ask a question, the answer is immediately in your brain, okay. so you already know it. So you, there's no more need for learning. We already learn immediately. I is love it, it. Is it like no more schools? No more you just pay, schools. You just pay for this. Exactly. We don't need you universities. Be a doctor. Everybody could be a doctor. You could do surgery on yourself. So you it's almost say, like a full Wikipedia page. You can say how Download many people? It. How many people died on the Titanic? Fifteen hundred. Was it? I think so. Something around there, at least. <laughs> but fourteen hundred and ninety-eight. As is that true? Because two people could have stayed on that fucking door. Am I right? Uh, <laughs> he would have fit. He, he would have fit. Also, what take turns. I... Go off it. Let yeah. him go on. Take it's turns. Yeah. Do we not know how to share? Told him to never let go. Then he let go. And then he let Men, go. Men, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> they refuse to listen to us. <laughs> Excellent. Let us re <laughs> recap. First, we have sugar shredder. Mm. Then heated glove box, sexual orientation bracelet, better puke toilet, smelling mirrors, the better elevator, direct brain answers, and permanent sunscreen. Now it is time to eliminate and rank. Did you like that? Yeah, I it's love cool. It. Oh, Pick one of any of these that you think belongs in the top three. Permanent sunscreen. Mm, perfect. Yes. And not just because it's one of the two that I can wrap my brain around, but it's also <laughs> a very good idea. Excellent. So what do you want me to do with it? Hold no, it? Yeah, you should just hold it. It's fine. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm going to go with heated glove box. I Ooh, thought I think that's, that's a, a great one. idea. Yeah. Oh, you talk oh. about it. And oh, right. Like this. I'm going to go with heated glove box because uh, everyone on the outside of my car doesn't know I'm listening to a podcast when I'm in there alone eating. Yes. So maybe I could save that for when I get home.
Maybe. Hey, we could hang out. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, but there I am again at in and out 1 a.m. because they close at 1. I can't eat there. I, I don't to eat stay mammals. One minute longer, I'll be there. I don't eat mammals. I call them from the road. You don't eat mammals? I don't eat mammals. And I eat chicken just once a week to keep me alive. I have a, a, a diet where sometimes I don't get enough protein. <laughs> oh, great. This is so personal. We don't have to do any of this. <laughs> Raph, please tell us which one you believe belongs in the top three. I gotta say, I really do like the downloading brain thing. At this time, everyone, I would like you to toss aside the ideas that oh, have not been on. chosen. You're all homophobic, <laughs> so I'll just let that go. <laughs> now it is time to rank. Briefcase boy! That's a briefcase, man. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if you were paying attention, but no, I was we have... polishing the briefcase. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I was just gonna say if you need help with this. What is that? For your sunscreen needs. Now would be a good time for a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> Please get out of here. In last place, permanent sunscreen. Because it's white because supremacy. <laughs> no, it's not. Everyone should use sunscreen. Everyone permanent on the Permanent sunscreen, surf. aka holding on to your privilege. That's not true. <laughs> Tending to your privilege guard. Everyone has to wear sunscreen. I'm not gonna say it again. I don't want to wear sunscreen, Katie. I want you to, though. In second place, direct to brain answers. In first place, we have heated glove box. Yes. We've done it again. Tune in next week as we answer another of life's most important questions. Briefcase boy. Well, that's it for the first full episode of The Rank Room. To watch another full episode right now, go to dropout.tv and start your free trial today. And that one's somehow even better than this one. And let's face it, this one was uh, <laughs> perfect. Tonight, I would like to propose as the worst marriage proposal <laughs> a special interest cruise. <laughs>